If you're in need of some coins or looking to sell, check out the Mutt Reserve. They've helped me pull packs like this. I'm just gonna open it. Oh, we got a Tyreek Hill. I, I'm the best in the game. I'm so good! And can do even more for you. They're linked in my description and use code IJOSH for 15% off at checkout. What's going on guys? Josh here and no face cam today, which means it's a tip video. Today we're going to be going over how to easily beat solo challenges. I was looking at my channel, I was like, I haven't done a solo challenge guide yet this year. What am I doing? I'm slacking. But here it is. This video is going to be everything you need to beat solo challenges. Just to prove to you that these work, the hardest solo challenges in the game are solo battles, which actually aren't in the game because they were glitched when they first released. But I did play them. Uh, the glitch was people could play them multiple, multiple times. So I didn't get top 100 because people would play literally like 100 games solo battles and those kids are nerds and weirdos and i wasn't doing that i played like the regular 13 that you get and i still got legend tier so would have got top 100 if people weren't glitching them but everything that i'm going to show you in this video i was doing in these solo battles and they indeed do work there's not extremely difficult solos in the game so basically the concepts and what i'm about to show you will really work for anyone if they work in solo battles they definitely work in any of these regular solos this solo challenge is score a rushing touchdown in four plays all right now if you're going for rushing yards there's two methods i like to do if you have a fast qb like lamar jackson like like everyone does i would go to a qb draw because qb draw is one of the best runs in the game period so all these guys are going to go upfield and you're going to have a delayed reaction if you have a freaking stuff on your Lamar Jackson like abilities it's even better you only got three yards there but we'll do it again I run this play online a lot as well so you see boom makes money miss Lamar breaks a tackle and we get a gain of like 14 yards if you have a fast QB you can also look at any type of read option those also work given to CPU pretty well I would just go under play type and read option but if you don't have that if you just have a regular running back go to a tight set and then either run a stretch or a toss preferably to the left this year i find that tosses and stretches to the left any runs to the left just work way better to the right this year um but you can see you just be wide open and an easy touchdown so that's all you really need to do for running pretty simple this next challenge is gain 40 yards in six plays and i'm gonna be showing you how to pass if you guys want me to do like a solo battles guide when it comes out i will um just just let me know down in the comments i will sure do that for you any questions you have about any of these th these tips I'm telling you, let me also know in the comments. So the only play that I've been really running for um, passing is, where is it? It's a crosser. Any type of crossing formation, PA crossers, it's in literally every playbook. Just put the tight end on the streak, and then you're going to be looking for your first receiver that's coming over the middle. So in this case, it's Tyler Lockett. See how he beats man coverage. This gets, gets open. This gets open against man and zone, and then you can just take it to the crib. This solo challenge is to score a passing touchdown in three plays. So I'm going to show you PA crossers again. If you have someone with route tech or Rackham, the Rackham ability, that will make this play even better because they'll just get even more separation. But either if it's a man or zone, this play gets open almost every single time. Like literally almost every single time. We have Bennett right here. Bennett has. He's got Slot Apprentice, which really doesn't help with his route running, but see there in man, he's going to get torched, and it's an easy touchdown. Simple. This is another rushing solo, so again, I'm just going through a toss to the left. Usually you want to do it to the right side of the field. If you're already on the left hash mark, just run it to the right, it's okay, but boom. Easy, easy yards, and I think that's the solo done. It's looking like none of these solos in this sequence are defensive, so I'm gonna do this again just to keep hammering it home. Also, if you have a, a faster guy in this position, it'd be much easier. Like, if I, you have a Tyree Kill or Dante Hall, or Tyler Lockett in that little slot position, he'll be able to just go and burn the defense. So, right here, we have Dante Hall. Flip the play, literally just running this play over and over again. You see how it gets beat, and he's literally wide open. This solo, we need to complete two passes and four plays. So really, all we're really worried about is completions. Um, but you don't really want to score with these type of things. So if you're looking to just get a lot of passing yards off, I would go to a tight set, like a gun tight slots, or um, some type of any double things, like a, any tight formation that you see so I'm gonna go to tight slots and I'm going to run 
either a bench concept or anything with drag. So I'm going to be looking for something with drags or out routes because they just get open against the CPU super easily. If you have someone fast on a drag, they basically get open every time. So boom, there's a hole right there. That was an out route. Now I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to put these guys, my inside guys, on a drag. And they should probably both get open. And you can see they are both open, so I'm just going to go here. And that's the solo done right there. Okay, finally we get a solo in which I'm going to show you a little bit of defense. So I'm just going to score 14 points right here. So obviously with this, I, I always try to do my solos as quickly as possible. I don't want to be playing, wasting my time playing a CPU. i rather play online. So I'm going to hit him with a one play touchdown basically with my PA crossers play. This play does work even if you are in the red zone or close to the goal line. If you don't want to use crossers here, you can go with something like dagger, but obviously that's a TD. And you always want to pay attention to your solo challenge goals. Some solo challenges will let the will allow you to let the computer score against you, which is, if that's the case, I will do an onside kick and just try to get it just to test and get practice my onside kick skills. Um, usually you don't get them, but sometimes you do. Like that one. <laughs> I can't believe I just worked on on camera. Um, which sucks because I was going to show you some defense, so I'm going to punt this ball actually. I'm actually going to just punt this ball so I can show you defense. But yeah, sometimes that will work, so never be afraid to use your onside kick. Like I said, you're trying to get these done as soon as possible. But to show you some defense, I'm going to give them the ball back because we're going to score instantly after we get the ball back again. But I want to show you some defense. On defense, you want to run either a super heavy blitzing set, so like a nickel 2, 4, 5, double A gap. Or the 6 1 and blitz them, or I'm gonna call a timeout. Oh, I don't have any timeouts. That's fine. Don't run this. Don't run any zone, because they will carve up zone this year. You wanna be, you wanna glitch out the CPU on defense. So you're gonna go to special teams to go to field goal block right, click field goal load block right, and then you're gonna audible to the left and go to punt safe man. You're going to take one of these defenders on the left hand side and then jabate the CPU to throw in this route. He, they usually will go to streaks. Um, and usually they'll turn that route. They'll basically, once they see you in this formation, they'll audible into like a streak. And then they'll throw the ball. Basically, you'll try to get them to, you'll kind of lurk the CPU. And they'll throw you an interception almost every time. They're not doing it right now, but. Hopefully they'll switch. Let's see. There we go. Audible. Nothing. There we go. So like that. Basically you want to go inside then come back outside. I didn't even see that guy on the far right. I'm not going to lie. I see they audible here. I'm going to audible. If they don't audible, you just audible. But usually they're going to run the ball. If they don't audible, they're like destined to win the ball. To get some sacks, just send out full pressure on them. They have, there's engage eight in a few formations. Um, if you don't have engage eight, just send basically just send a man blitz. So boom. There is a way to glitch out the CPU on defense to basically let them score, but for the solo not to count. So you can see on the solo challenges it says don't allow any points this drive. So I'm gonna do this on all pro, and you'll see what I mean. So it's not allow any points and basically never let the CPU be credit credited for what they got. You just want to go to any formation and then go off sides, but let them snap the ball. So I'm going to run commit. Let them snap the ball. Let them get the playoff. Let them score. So just dive. Let them score. Let them score. Let them score. Cool. The solo challenge is not going to end, even though I let them score. For some reason, the solo challenge doesn't recognize that I scored. So again, they're going to go for two. I'm going to do the exact same thing, actually, because I've, I've never seen them go for two like this. Um, Which, would, it really wouldn't matter, but I'm just going to let them do it. Whatevs. Cool. Boom. Remember, our goal was to not allow, to not allow any points on this that drive. So they got one single drive. Now what I'm going to do since I have the ball back is I'm going to punt the ball. I'm going to punt the ball. Boom. Boom. Basically all you want to do is met, let the CPU have another drive and then the game will recognize that they already used their one drive and then the solo will end. 
So boom, easy way to glitch out CPU. And that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I talked about, let me know, send this video out to your friends. Don't waste your time struggling against solo challenges. You should never struggle against the CPU in this game, unless it's like something really tough like a solo battle. Solo battles are a different story because you will get cheated, um, but you just have to cheat back. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Check out my other videos. I've been posting a lot of gameplay. I've been going crazy. Thank you guys for all the support. We will rise back to the top and I'm signing out. Peace.